Please. Hi, welcome to another Boomer Cube. Uh, tonight, I'm going to uh, review the from Evil Twin Brewing in uh, Denmark. Actually, he's a, uh, he's a uh, gypsy brewer. Uh, <clears throat> Femme Fatale Kabosu IPA. It's it's six uh, percent, and uh, I've actually haven't had uh, too many beers from the series, um, and this is made. It says here to take up the challenge, make a hundred percent true Brett IPA, which would be interesting, with Japanese citrus fruit. It's it's a kabosu. So a kabosu is. Uh, really haven't had it before so I can't it's a citrus fruit I, I don't know that much about it it's used in um, it's used in Japanese cooking so Kabosu's irresistible and seductive personality along with Brett's overpowering alluring and very charming nature well, okay it goes on and on let's see how it is Now, this is a fresh bottle. I think this is a new beer. Let's smell it from here. Okay. Light color. Very, very light. It's almost like an apple. Or, uh, apple's the wrong word. Light. Uh, like a light orange. Two finger head. I was trying to, uh, I was thinking about the right glass for this. I was going to use an IPA glass because it's, um, <clears throat> you know, because it's it's got kabosu in it, and I figured, well, I, I needed a, a wider mouth glass. Oh, geez, the aroma is terrific. Very pungent. I'm not familiar with this fruit. It's very, very a pungent citrus like I've never ever smelled before in a beer. And kind of um, fragrant. Now the question is how the, the bread and molasses comes into play when he brewed it. I'm, I'm not totally sure. All right, <laughs> mouthfeel is exceptionally carbonated. It's probably, well, it's more carbonated than any other, most other IPAs I've ever had. Uh, <laughs> this is very different. The bread presence is strong, you get, <clears throat> thing about this beer, it's so damn tart. I mean, this is like a tart city. It's really unlike it, any IPA I've ever had, and the, it's it's really hoppy as shit, but in a, in a very different way. Not a stone hoppiness. It's not, uh, you know, like... Uh, Hitty top or something like that, which has more alcohol in it than this does. Um, Stone certainly. Many of the IPAs are ten percent, eight to ten. So <clears throat> I think the Brett, together with the Kabosu, really gives this a finish that's very, very different. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Couldn't find too much about what he did to brew it. Oh, and they uh, brewed it in South Carolina. So they don't always, he doesn't always brew it in the same place. It's a gypsy brew, so he just figures out where he can brew his beer. Oh, the guy was also a former uh, school teacher, which I didn't know. I learned in that Wikipedia. Okay. 
Okay. Well, <clears throat> it's an A beer. Big time. Very different. Very, very, very different approach. It's a singular approach. What's happening now in a lot of uh, hoppier beers is they're going for different fruits, different hops, you know, sort of away from the Simcoe direction, which I love Simcoe. Uh, Stone is doing it in some of its beers. But this direction I love. So it's retaining the pungency. They're not going for the wine, fruity taste, and keeping the hops, but using a different fruit. So it's really an extraordinary, extraordinary beer. This guy is fucking crazy. Um, I've only had, you know, probably half a dozen of their beers. Uh, they're all great. Um, all right. So the fall is upon us. Enjoy the fall. And until the next time, life is too short to drink bad beer. And I'm going to finish this one. It's going to take a while. Even though it's 6%, this one just sit real slow. Cheers. The thing she does to please. She's just a little tease.